soccer universe. Oh, I think yesterday's game deserves him another new video. Uh, I actually made the video and posted it straight without any post production because I thought it's. Uh, I need to get this out of the way, and I think that many. I hope I reached a few people who <laughs> share similar uh, thoughts as mine. Uh, I am still very conflicted in many ways and I, um, first and foremost I was configured what to wear today. Uh, it is one of those those days where in the morning it is still uh, kind of cold and then it gets warmer which means more or less a hockey jersey which probably would have been my preferred choice would have been out. And now uh, let me take it down the rabbit hole that is my brain in those uh, circumstances because I wish I just would pick them randomly or whatever without much thought, but no, no way. So um, since the Avalanche won yesterday, I thought maybe I should wear an Avalanche jersey uh, regardless and maybe have some band shirt below. Uh, my whole office gets warm because I have two uh, frozen people in there. Um, that's a whole different story. Um, but then I remember, yeah, I have hockey powers. And I decided not to pull it because I might jinx the avalanche, uh, which I would prefer over uh, the sharks, although I don't like the sharks. So, so. not soccer, soccer, we're talking in any I said, nah, gotta be a soccer jersey uh, to today. Um, and while I could have pulled out one of my new ones for the uh, national teams, I said, nah, 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 nah. it has to be. It has to be a club shirt, and that was a brief thought, shall I wear Barcelona just in spite? Uh, but you know, while I have sympathies for Barcelona, and I, they would easily crack always my top five teams, um, to be honest, I am really only a fan of two teams, Lask and Milan. That's where I am really a big fan of, and yeah, the others keep. Uh, rotating, but Barcelona is always safe in my top five. But nah, I'm gonna make you know, I always wear the jersey of the team that wins if I have it. So Liverpool it is, and then shall I wear the red? Shall I wear the white? And you know, the red is a bit too obvious. Uh, people know, I think, oh, I'm a front runner, which the people that know me know, know that I'm not. Really, uh, I usually just more, mostly I pull it for the videos, uh, but also you know, uh, make a statement. Some of my colleagues know it's always nice, you always have to look at Rowan, you know, Rowan. and yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, I ultimately decided for the white top because I think it's the more stealth look in the sense that you know I'm I want to recognize Liverpool but I also you know I I don't feel all that great uh, wear, 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 wearing it because I don't want to be a front runner and you know I do have sympathies for Barcelona and I think if you would have asked me I said it the final that I would have probably liked most, just for historic reasons, would have been an Ajax Barcelona final. Although I look today, I made sure I look today in my uh, prediction video because I don't remember my predictions. I think at uh, for tonight I had maybe a one-one. I actually predicted a two-one win for Barcelona at home. Well, I was off. And a three-one win for Liverpool in the return leg an aggregate of 4-3 so I got the aggregate right I didn't get right how it's gonna happen but I got the aggregate right don't take any credit for it honestly uh, those predictions but you know I had Liverpool in, 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 in the final I was I had this inkling um, so let's get to some more thoughts on the game uh, yesterday as I said I made it evening the video that I posted but I wanna a few more things came in my mind uh, while you know while falling asleep in the morning the first one is not only did Barcelona not play a team like Liverpool this season 
I think there is a certain sense that Liverpool is a squad firing on all cylinders at this moment because they had to give it their all pretty much constantly this season. And the one time that they had some rests, they actually came out stuttery. Uh, Liverpool had to go all out uh, last Saturday to win against Newcastle. They needed that win and they, had, they were in this mode for quite a while. Uh, yes, the attrition is big because, um, what can you say? There's Salah out, Firmino out and even Van Dijk, uh, who again was uh, outstanding yesterday, uh, was a little bit in doubt, but the squad keeps going and plays their pretty intense game. You, you can already see that they're not able to do it full time. Uh, because you know it has been a long season but if they get the right moment as they got yesterday they can they get this extra air the second air and uh, go through what did Barcelona do I think Barcelona managed the squad quite well during the season I think they always could play their best when it counted except yesterday I honestly, I didn't quite understand why they didn't play the full squad on um, last Saturday against Celta. That I didn't understand. I know rest, blah, 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 but I think you just had this high, you had the squad going. There is something to do with it. Keep it going. Keep it going. You see it with Liverpool. And one back to hockey there. Um, I see there as well, uh, up until re re recently it was an advantage if you got your uh, series win in the playoffs that you, you know, win in four or five games, that's usually an advantage because you can rest and recover from injuries. However, you lose a little bit of a step and if it happens that a team that won in four plays a team that won in seven games plays each other, it's not uncommon that the team that plays the seven wins at least the first game and this year we even see uh, the things are getting even more so that the teams that are playing are actually better off in general. Uh, you saw it with the Tampa Bay Lightning who almost like Barcelona had secured that they're the first uh, place team in the entire playoffs. I think they had this secured in mid-March so they had a full month to go with nothing really meaningful to, to play for. Even so, so, so sooner than that they play against Columbus, a team that has been in playoff mode um, basically for two months and they crash out, although they're the way more talented team, they crash out four games to zero. Uh, it actually was, it was quite the story and uh, Similar examples all over. Uh, I mean, the New York Islanders um, won 4 0 against Pittsburgh in the first round and then uh, played the Hurricanes, who had to go in seven to beat the Washington Capitals, another one of those teams that had their top spots secured. And then they're knocked out in four. And now we're gonna see uh, the Hurricanes now won in four and play the Bruins that play in six. I actually think that the Bruins will have the advantage. They played seven and six games. They kept their momentum going in a way. And I see it in a similar fashion here. Um, at least now for Barcelona, that's for sure. Uh, that I can, it feels to me very, very much like that. And we might have to go through past seasons um, with the, um, how things were going back then because it's really there is something about to, 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 to be said about still playing your first team squad but if you rest this is usually not your advantage look at the world cup look i, I mean another league that i watch is nfl uh, there's also uh, you get the bye week i mean the last few years the bye week actually didn't uh, did help but this was because the teams that had, had the bye week uh, in the playoffs uh, were really that much better. But I have a feeling, and I know this should be analyzed, and maybe I should actually do that. Uh, what is the record of teams that have rested players? Um, I don't blame, I don't fault Barcelona for the overall strategy. Rest your players at key moments in the season. Um, to you know 
you needed to secure but uh, right now you had this big high beating liver beating liver keep the squat smooth keep keep it on there and we know that this win was I maintain uh, way too high this 3-0 did not reflect what was on the field as did the 4-0 yesterday although if I if I'm honest in the second half Barcelona was not present any, a, anymore but Barcelona like Liverpool should have in Barcelona Barca should have scored yesterday uh, they had chances by Messi by Coutinho uh, Alba actually right before the halftime there were in there were enough opportunities to get a goal and if I'm Dembele, I'm hiding under a rock today because you had it on your foot to decide this uh, tie already. Uh, if it's 4 0, I don't think Liverpool will uh, go through. And it's those fine balances. The other thing that uh, I wanted to mention Barcelona was playing their oldest squad that they already did so in the first leg and in the back of my mind I said that's not that's not good that's not good uh, especially against the Liverpool team that has this high press I know it is uh, a little bit hard, hard to say stereotypically when you say the old squad is slower but that's exactly what it is uh, Liverpool has an extremely high level of fitness and has an extremely intense style, extremely intense to play and yeah, they outpressed in a way Barcelona, yes Barcelona had their chances and yes Barcelona could sometimes liberate themselves but once Liverpool got going there was hardly a foot that Barcelona could pull on the field. So that to me is another point that I didn't like the Barcelona they have a great squad, but it's a little bit too ex too experienced. I think the only um, the only grandpa band, if you want, that uh, recently won the Champions League, I think is Milan in 2007 against against Liverpool. Uh, that was an old team, but um, the style of play back then was different. We didn't have yet this intense press. We didn't have yet. Uh, Guard Guardiola had yet to take over. Uh, at Barcelona so that was another thought I also thought that didn't really come to me during the game but I think if you think about it uh, he more or less played the same lineup that he played in Barcelona with where he actually needed to do adjustments to uh, and I'm talking Valverde he needed to adjust to get the uh, to get some stability and i wonder i mean yes horrible game by alba at least defensively longley also defensively i think was uh, shambles and um pk didn't look good on the first goal and was not his imperial self. I mean, there have been talks how, how great has Pique been uh, this season. He is, he is the best defender in the world. And then he pulls out a game like that. That's an absolute stinker in many ways. Uh, defensively, Barcelona yesterday did not seem too stable. Uh, right from the get-go, when Shakiri got in there, you could see there is a little bit of nervousness uh, in there. So. Maybe you should have even played a more stable structure. Of course, that the midfield with Busquets and Rakitic is also a complete wash. Doesn't help. Doesn't help. Uh, that was, they never could get the order in, in there. And yeah, if you get Barcelona on such a day, uh, you, you're looking good usually. So yeah, that was the, the one thing that I think Valverde overthought, overthought this tie. And maybe he felt too safe, maybe he felt too safe, but on the other side they rested all their players because they wanted to put all their eggs in that one basket and completely failed. I think this was horribly coached and despite the great record of winning 
uh, the league again and you know with games to spare um, probably winning the Copa del Rey this Champions League campaign is putting big big dent on Valverde and I'm not sure if he will you at least have to call him in question I don't like to do it but you have to call him in question and uh, honestly I did not like the way Barcelona was playing as, as, as of late. I said it before, uh, Barcelona of the four teams playing in the semifinal, Barcelona was the least attractive side. They had the most exciting player, but they were the least attractive side to watch. So uh, for that reason, I'm actually, that's where I'm actually happy uh, that we actually have uh, secured that there will be two exciting teams playing in the final and uh, to me it still does not compute that Barcelona is not among those uh, those teams but they look for most of the season always in control uh, they have the great ability to play a great pass and yesterday we saw that again there's always a wonderful pass in there the beauty the beauty going forward is there but uh, it's not the speed and I think this is what ultimately I did for Salomon. And yeah, I still maintain resting those players was not a smart move. Uh, Liverpool had to give it their all. And I, I think the one time that Liverpool had to rest players because they went out of the FA Cup kind of wanting to the League Cup. I, you don't want to go out at home to Chelsea, but I think... Um, they were not too sorry that they were out of that competition too because they know that their personnel is thin. Uh, Liverpool all went for Championship and Champions League but exactly in this span, January, February, where they suddenly had twice a break of over a week, that's where they struggled. And then they had to find themselves again and now they're well oiled machine. And that will be not be the interesting part because the last game for Liverpool before the Champions League final is this Saturday. They have three weeks off. Ajax will not have that problem. Ajax will be pushed to the brink by PSV. And yeah, Ajax is not yet in the final. So uh, that factor will only uh, play if Tottenham is uh, not going to the final. So if Tottenham is, if it's uh, Tottenham against Liverpool, of course, then they both have say the same situation, but should it be Ajax against Liverpool? I think the way that uh, things are scheduled will actually be an advantage for uh, Ajax. The only thing that Liverpool can hope for is that somehow, some way, they get level on points, meaning that uh, level on points with uh, City and level in goals with City, which will be difficult. Um, we need a, that means a tie at Anfield and the City will lose substantially at Brighton. Not gonna happen. But the possibility is there. Then they can have a playoff match to decide the title. Um, but to, to be honest, that's not gonna happen. So if Liverpool has a three three week rest, I don't think it will do them favors. Didn't do them favors last year. They had, they had a similar big rest ahead of the Champions League final. The difference is that Liverpool will be the favourite at that final. Uh, no matter who they play. Well, a few more thoughts and uh, look into my crazy brain. Let me know if you had any more thoughts uh, on that. Anything is welcome. Uh, it is one of the biggest turnarounds that I have witnessed myself. Um, just for the sheer yes, those were two evenly matched sides, and for that reason, I was never in the cards. I've seen collapses, I'm very familiar with collapses, being a Milan fan. Even to Liverpool, and I say, I say it yesterday, I say it again. Um, if you're a Barca fan, I know how you feel. That's all I can say. I know how you feel and it sucks. It absolutely sucks the life out of you in a way. Uh, you did it twice.
Neusner, I say Milan 2004, Milan 2005. And there were other games where uh, it was about to happen again. I just remember when we lost in the Champions League, I think in 2012, it was 11, uh, 20, uh, 2012, when they beat Arsenal in the first leg 4 0 and almost squandered. Quite familiar with the feeling, and I can go on to other other sports too. Um, it does hurt, and I'm there with you. On the other side, overall, I think I would even say that the, the sides were quite even, except for this second half uh, yesterday, uh, where I think that's where Liverpool deserved to go. Uh, Barcelona was a shadow of itself. And I don't know, will there be a big rebuild? Um, the, the good news in this guys is probably that Real Madrid will be building a dangerous squad, a big squad this summer. Um, so Barcelona will get a little bit more of a push. And then we'll see um, if that will help them to continue to push all the time. <laughs> It's never gonna be boring. Anyway, again, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share all your thoughts with me in the comments below. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that i want to wish you a wonderful day